thank you trisha for uh, so beautifully explaining about the different types of uh, radio now moving on there is another type of radio uh, that is educational radio uh, we have already uh, you know discussed about the community radio stations which are very important at the community le level or the local level that we can say and the in the same way educational radio is a very important part to impart uh, different forms of information and education uh, to specific communities so uh, as we have already uh, discussed that radio is the very you know one of the cheapest and most easily accessible form of mass media it has several other advantages as well especially for uh, developing countries like india where its potential audience is uh, quite large in comparison to the audiences of other media uh, what i mean to say is that radio has a very large audience as compared to television or print media forms okay the, the advantages of radio are that it get caters to the people of different age groups and different maturity level we find uh, you know even primary school children listening to radio as well as the uh, the aged a uh, generation of the society they are also very much hooked to radio programs so hence it is uh, radio is very popular because of the cost factor and its wide ranging uh, appeal so radio's use in education uh, is noteworthy because because of its versatility uh, it is particularly significant as it provides the learners the people with new joys of learning and uh, you know uh, the people listening to radio they can learn without even realizing that they are you know learning so it is a kind of joy that is being imparted while learning and it can develop their uh, you know it can help in developing their command over their vocabulary it can promote concentration and critical listening and improve fluency and confidence in speech and discussion so a community radio can be used for both formal and non formal education uh, if we look at the kind of programs that are broadcast through uh, a radio station at a local level or a regional level uh, we can see that the 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 community or the local people of that area are very much involved in production and distribution of any particular um, program hence uh, you know the uh, a formal and as well as non formal kind of education can be imparted through uh, this this sort of uh, radio stations the broadcasts under a non formal form of education may uh, comprise different programs such as uh, children's programs or uh, women related programs uh, programs related to adult education or uh, you know rural development programs Uh, which are mostly related to farming or animal husbandry or such kind of uh, related areas as well as uh, different social action programs so radio can help in a vast way uh, in bridging the literacy gap that can be seen uh, you know in the society so the programs of all india radio uh, they are for the general listeners as well as for the specific groups like farmers as i have already said or women or children or students or teachers there are different kind of programs which are specifically made for uh, this kind of targeted audiences and through them different types of information or educational information of educational values can be uh, shared so when we are talking about a uh, different kind of uh, you know educational uh, programs of radio or educational radio we can talk about the different kind of projects Uh, like uh, the school broadcasts uh, which were you know started from calcutta in uh, november 1937 and it was a biweekly program of 30 minutes okay and different universities you know the calcutta university and uh, uh, other departments of uh, education of bengal they showed interest and contributed in carrying forward these uh, programs so the development of educational radio can be seen from two aspects the first is the establishment of a broadcast network and secondly the preparation and production of the specific educational programs so this is how a educational radio can operate now let us see at uh, the different projects that have been uh, you know have been in india have been started in india targeting uh, education or uh, for the purpose of imparting education 
वन इज़ द स्कूल ब्रॉडकास्ट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन इन एंड इट स्पेसिफिकली टारगेटेड द स्कूल स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स दैन देर वॉज द एडल्ट एजुकेशन एंड कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स द प्रोजेक्ट इट सेल्फ द टाइटल इट सेल्फ सेज इट वॉज टारगेटेड टूवर्ड्स द यू नो दुवर्ड्स एडल्ट एजुकेशन द यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोडक्ट ब्रॉडकास्ट प्रोजेक्ट लैंग्वेज लर्निंग प्रोग्राम देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स लाइक दिस एंड द लैंग्वेज लर्निंग प्रोग्राम वॉज वेरी यू नो पॉपुलर एंड इट वॉज नोन एज ऑल्सो नोन एज रेडियो पायलट प्रोजेक्ट एंड इट स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन एंड एटी इन You know, Department of Education of Government of Rajasthan, and uh, they were trying to uh, teach Hindi to school-going children as their first language in um, a large number of primary schools of Jaipur and Ajmer areas, and it was done on an experimental basis. And while talking about educational radio, we have to talk about, we have to mention about the uh, you know initiatives taken by Indira Gandhi National Open University in the field of educational radio. Uh, various projects were launched by the IGNU, uh, like the IGNU AIR Broadcast, IGNU AIR Interactive Radio Counseling (IRC), and it was started in 1998, especially for the students of open and distance learning, and as well as the conventional universities. And uh, we have to mention here about Gyan Vani, that is the educational FM radio channel of India, and this project was launched in the year 2000. Uh, one and uh, again the target group were both uh, the open learners as well as the learners the students of the conventional education system now uh, we have talked about the uh, the different kind of projects or different types of radios that are in our country or around the world uh, which are broadcasting different kind of programs for the benefit of the society and we also know that Uh, the radio or the audio medium has undergone a lot of changes in the recent years and lot of de- significant uh, you know developments can be seen uh, in the field of radio broadcasting many modern uh, developments have been seen as radio has embraced the technological changes that is uh, you know happening around the world and it has you know radio ha- has succeeded in adapting these new technologies and in uh, bringing about changes in itself uh, so that uh it remains interesting for all the even the younger generations of the society uh dr trisha has already mentioned about digital uh, radio broadcasting uh when we are talking about the recent developments in the field of radio we have to mention about that and it originally emerged in the uh, europe in the uh, late 90s and that it uh, then it started in the united states and france and holland and south africa and other countries and when we are talking about the recent trends uh we have to talk about the internet radio okay the internet radio um is known as also known as web radio net radio or steam streaming radio i'm sure uh, many of you might have come across internet radio while surfing the internet so it is a, a audio broadcasting service which is transmitted through the internet so broadcasting on the internet uh, is Uh, usually called webcasting the word webcasting is used while talking about internet radio because terrestrial transmission is does not happen in this con- in the case of internet radio and the, the, these radio services are usually accessible from anywhere in the world for example if an internet radio is established in assam in a in a uh, you know a city of assam then it can be also heard in a different you know all around the world maybe in a uh, part of in different parts of america or australia it can be heard anywhere so internet radio remains popular among the expatriates or uh, and the listeners whose interests uh you know local radio stations can adequately serve so some of these programs are the programs which are broadcast over or webcast over internet radio are you know different kind of progressive rock or ambient music folk music classical music uh stand up comedy co- com- comedy which is becoming very popular these days that internet radio services offer news sports talks and different other programs which are usually available on the traditional radio stations as well the internet radio is through streaming technology over the internet and uh, we have to mention here that uh, internet radio was uh, pioneered by carl melamud who in 1993 he launched the internet talk radio 
uh, which is considered to be the first computer radio talk show uh, so uh, the first internet radio of the northeast india is e gyantaranga uh, which was basically launched uh, which was launched on 5th of november 2012 so we in this part of uh, the country can also boast of having a you know internet radio in the internet radio has changed the way you know information has been broadcast or how the information is uh, accessible to to people around the world and uh, as we look back at the year 2021 uh, which has been one of the most difficult years uh, you know of our lives with the pandemic all around us it was a year that had actually affected the different businesses the lives the markets as well as the world in general and obviously it had also massive impact on the media as well as the entertainment industry when we talk about media it had a very you know big impact on you know especially on the electronic media and you know, some of the important you know uh, traditional mediums like print ooh which is out of home advertising or maybe outdoor advertising or experiential radio it bore the brunt of the massive impact and uh, with advertisers they they actually stopped most of the marketing activities especially in the first few months and there were other few important you know advertising agencies like adex they actually witnessed a major dip into the uh, in this particular business and uh, when we talk about radio as a medium it's it's largely dependent on retail advertising and we talk about different sources of revenue and when retail actually saw a complete shutdown in the past two years even in the current year also this particular medium actually suffered a lot as advertisers really pull back on the different advertisements and uh, media, many uh, radio players also had to cut down the salaries and rationalize the manpower so overall it had a massive impact on the functioning of the different electronic media you know platforms more specifically radio and then uh, for the year 2022 also we have actually seen this medium seamlessly integrating digitization this is the age of digital media so uh, you know the digital platforms have been integrated into the electronic media platform into into the media scenario and this digitization has further and has have been taking massive strides as the emergence of audio will take precedence across all the innovations and uh, this year to the different advancements of digitization has enabled the different radio networks to build a holistic audio entertainment experience for listeners as well as for the different brands to leverage and for the coming year also we are very much positive about the fact or we are very much certain about the fact that uh, there will be an expansion in the audio space with radio further venturing into the avenues that harnesses the power of this particular medium and uh, another trend which we actually noticed last year and the forecast for the present year also it would be the growth in radio in terms of listenership as well as business from the tier 2 and tier 3 markets two tier and three tier markets and with the increase in 5g penetration and as well as consumption shift by brands to advertise more in tier two and tier three cities and markets and uh, the different categories like e-commerce ott platforms fmcg as a retail actually also like to le- leverage these markets and because of radio has a very in a big reach as an well accessibility so these brands will definitely try to look into the advertising aspect and like le- like to leverage a wider audience now uh talking about the recent developments like juricious uh, very well explained uh, we talked about and you know, basic features of education radio as well as internet radio which has really taken the world by storm and along with internet radio we also have the hg radio as well as satellite radio so when we talk about hg radio stations basically uh these are plethora of radio stations which broadcast a digital signal over traditional radio frequencies thus allowing for up to 3 additional stations of new local content and uh, hd radio or hdr it's a basically a term which is in meant for an in band on channel digital radio broadcast technology and uh, it generally simulcast an existing analog radio station in digital format with less noise and with additional text information then there's another very uh, you know upcoming uh, we can say a uh, way of you know disseminating information over broadcast that is the satellite radio and uh, the ITU that is international telecommunication union they have defined satellite radio as a broadcasting satellite service 
whereby the satellites uh, signals are basically broadcast nationwide across a much wider geographical area than the terrestrial radio stations and uh, the service is primarily intended for the occupants of motor vehicles and it is widely available by the subscription and mostly you have to pay a commercial fee for that and it offers the subscribers more stations I mean, there is a wide variety of stations applicable and the, the subscribers can choose from any of the stations for their own you know entertainment purpose so maybe for according to their own convenience so so far we have learned the different types of uh, you know uh, radio broadcasting the different you know recent trends that that are coming in with the technological developments and uh, and we know that uh, radio is very dear to our all of our hearts we have been listening to radio since our childhood and we know the kind of impact that radio can have on one's life so we have also already said that radio is a very pervasive medium it is there uh, all along our lives uh, since uh, getting up in the morning till going to the bed at night radio uh, is there uh, with us uh, we keep on listening to the radio in different forms and it is uh, still there especially in the rural areas people are still dependent on uh, radio on the audio medium uh, mostly because of you know the uh, the kind of cost that is that can be incurred in different other forms of uh, media or the lack of electricity or the frequent power cuts that happen in different areas of the country uh, radio still remains to be one of the important uh, you know communication medium so uh, we can understand uh, how what kind of impact that it can have and how it can affect the people and their day to day lives uh, we know that uh, radio was uh, at the very beginning radio was used in the first world war uh, to transmit important messages uh, you know to and fro specific points and after the war was over uh, you know radio started to be used for the non military purposes for the civilians to uh, to transmit different kind of to transmit different kind of messages of uh, social importance or you know socio political and other uh, purposes and radio has always proved it uh, proved its worth and utility both as an informational channel as well as as a catalyst for uh, different socio economic development uh, so radio plays a very important role in be- building the favorable climate for uh, social change or transformation to take place because as we already know that people are so involved in a, at a deep, deeper level with the radio the radio messages can actually create a lot of impact on people and can help in bringing about a social change in with uh, you know with time uh, the 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 ability or the work that radio can do to overcome you know different literacy and economic barriers and the portable its portable nature that it can be carried about the and the the kind of direct nature of communication that the audience can have with the radio presenter through the words the music the the voice the kind of impact that it can have on the people it makes the radio a very unique and a very effective tool uh, which is also very affordable so radio has a very long history of broadcasting uh, different programs which are related to social and civic problems if we look at the history if we look back at the history of radio in the world or in india we can see that you know the radio broadcasting started uh, with the broadcast of different social messages or uh, you know related to farming agriculture health and family welfare or family planning uh, so the kind of experiments that were done to see how radio can impact people or impact the society and it has seen it has been seen that radio has always succeeded in bringing about different kind of changes for uh, you know for the betterment of the society again uh, listening to the radio can provide companionship and it can it can in the long run create a sense of community you know uh, the radio the presenter they uh, i've already said they can impact people's engagement towards the radio programs hence radio can be perceived as a tool for development uh, since its very emergence uh, as it possesses the immense potential to reach the unreached corners of the world as i have already said uh, where other media like the print and television might not be able to penetrate many a times and again the audio medium is uh, much loved as we know and much trusted by the people
Uh, I think our jury has very well uh, you know, elaborated in a very uh, proper way about the impact radio has on a society as a whole or on the people as a whole. Uh, first of all, it is an audio medium, no doubt. But uh, within that audio medium, it has been able to you know, connect with the mass audience you know, because of the maybe of the content uh, that is being broadcast or maybe uh, the way it has been able to touch the lives of the people. As we all have grown up definitely listening to radio, you know, even even these days also we, everyone, every single one of us uh, have a radio set at home. But having said that, uh, even though, you know, uh, electronic media, as far as electronic media is concerned, even though television have had a massive impact on radio, but radio has managed to, you know, stay afloat. It has managed to create a niche for itself into the, uh, in, the, you know, in, the in the field of media market. Now, in addition to serving as a lifeblood of emergency communication, it it also provides jobs, also play a day-to-day role in the lives of the communities. And it's it's all about companionship, you know, and the uh, emotional connection that we have with the listener. Because uh, it radio broadcasts provide real-time information and some that broadcast when far as they can actually provide the most recent updates to the listeners. And it's not just uh, important for reception of emergency announcements and communications in disasters, but it is also a very powerful medium, you know, for celebrating a different occasions, for celebrating humanity as a whole in all its diversity and constitutes a platform for uh, different democratic discourses. And uh, at not only at the global level, but at the national level, even at the local level, it, it actually remains uh, the most widely consumed medium. And then this unique ability to reach out to the widest audience, uh, it means that radio can actually shape a society's experience of diversity. Um, it also stands out as an arena for all the voices to speak out and be represented and heard. On this particular occasion of, of World Radio Day, let us all unite together and raise the public awareness of the importance of radio and also to encourage decision makers to use it to provide access to information and to improve the international cooperation among the broadcasters. With this, we have come to the end of today's very special discussion marking this special occasion. Thank you all so much. Thank you.